Hello dear learners in today's video we are going to discuss the MCQs from social pharmacy which was earlier known as health education and community pharmacy from that we are going to discuss the MCQs from the chapter epidemiology part 5 part 5 contains ba some basic terminologies which are related to infections or diseases in our earlier parts part 1 2 3 4 we have covered few of the subtopics from the cha same chapter that is epidemiology now in part 5 we will continue with the infectious diseases terms now the first question from the part 5 is when the infectious agent is present on the inanimate object like uh, your uh, non living things like uh, chair table etc when the infectious agent is present on such objects or uh, from uh, their inanimate objects including fomites that is uh, your uh, utensils like uh, um, cloths etc so these are nothing but fomites so when the infectious agent is present on such inanimate objects or on food items and water it is the process is whether it is contamination whether it is communication whether it is prohibition or all of them the correct answer is it is contamination that means whenever the infectious agent is present on any of the surface or material it is known as contaminated material so the process is contamination next question is a disease resulting from the infection is whether the disease resulting from infection is a infectious disease whether it's a contagious disease whether it's a communicable disease or all of them the correct answer is it is infectious disease disease resulting from the infection is infectious disease next question is a disease which is transmitted by contact is whether it is an infectious disease whether it is an contagious disease whether it's an communicable disease or all of them the correct answer is it is contagious disease contact contagious for example scabies trachoma etc by contact so it is contagious next question is a disease transmitted from one subject to another directly through any medium is that means a disease transfer from one person to another person through any medium is known as whether it's a infectious disease whether it's a contagious disease whether it's a communicable disease or all of them the correct answer is it is communicable disease because communicable diseases are the diseases which are transmitted from one subject to another either directly means direct contact or through any medium like air food dust water etc so it is communicable disease next question is occurrence of a disease or health related event clearly in excess of expected occurrence that means it was expected to be this much but now it's that much so it is occurrence of a disease or a health related even clearly in excess quantity of the expected occurrence so whether it's a pandemic whether it's a sporadic whether it's a epidemic or advanced epidemic the correct answer is it is epidemic when the disease is beyond the expected occurrence it is epidemic disease next question is when this epidemic which is more in number which is beyond the expectations when such kind of diseases affects a large geographical area the disease is known as whether it is pandemic whether it is sporadic whether it is zoonotic whether it is advanced epidemic the correct answer is it is pandemic pandemics are when the epidemics affect a larger geographical area such as a continent or a country then it is 
pandemic disease which affects most of the population and the condition is pandemic condition for example influenza pandemic which was there in 1918 to 1957 next question is few irregularly scattered cases in the community which can be the beginning of epidemic is dash that means uh, whenever there are few here and there scattered cases in the community are there which scattered cases can be the beginning of the epidemic then it is whether it is a pandemic whether it is a sporadic whether it is a zoonotic or advanced epidemic the correct answer is it is sporadic that means this pandemic case corona uh, it was beyond the expected occurrence and as well as there were few cases initially in the community which started with this uh, spread of corona and the beginning of epidemic was due to the few irregularly scattered cases so they if when there are few cases they are sporadic and that too irregularly scattered so it is sporadic beginning next question an infection transmissible from vertebrate host for example like uh, uh, dogs or uh, rats these uh, kind of uh, vertebrates uh, vertebrate host when they affect the man under natural condition that means human being the infection which is transmitted transmissible from vertebrate host to man whether it's a pandemic whether it's a sporadic whether it's a epidemic or zoonotic the correct answer is it is zoonotic when an infection is transmitted transmissible from vertebrate host to man in natural condition it is zoonotic for example rabies plague salmonella cis etc next question is the prime objective of the infectious agent is when the infectious agent is there is present what is the prime goal of that infectious agent whether it is the first option of the host which is causing disease like the infectious agent it it remains in the host body which cause uh, host which cause disease and establish second is establish inside the host body yes the infectious agent's primary goal is first is to stay inside the body then second is establish inside the body and then leave the host through a proper route of excretion and again infect the other host so last is all of them so the correct answer is it is all of them so infectious agent is having all these prime objectives first is to uh, inf invade that uh, host then establish inside the body of that host then leave the body of the host and infect the another host that is to carry out the spread also next question is during disease transmission means whenever the disease is transmitted from one person to another during this transmission process first host is whether it's an reservoir whether it's an susceptible host whether it's an both of them or none of them the correct answer is it is reservoir when it is at the first place when uh, transmission during the disease transmission the host this transmission takes place in some steps so when it succeeds in this the disease continues in the population matlab disease agent jab succeed ho jata hai first host se second host tak fir uh, spreading to the community then that disease is like uh, succeeded in a transmission so whenever during the transmission there is a first host and there is a second host so first host is known as reservoir and the second host which is there that second host when the disease is transmitted from the first host 
to the second host that second host is also having the different terminology now we are dealing with the first host so that first host is known as reservoir that means the storage of that particular uh, disease agent then next question is during the disease transmission now as you can see here the question has been continued uh, from the first host to the second host during the disease transmission so the when the process of transmission takes place the original host which is the reservoir from reservoir it uh, establish into the body of that reservoir then it spreads from the reservoir and it go to the next host that is second host so when the second host is there that second host is known as what whether it's a reservoir whether it's a susceptible host whether it is both of them or none of them the correct answer is it is susceptible host next question is when the infectious disease patient dies within few days and able to infect others when infectious patient means when the patient is infected that patient dies within few days and that patient again it is unable to infect the other patient so this is known as whether it is known as communicable infection whether it is known as heterogenic infection it is opportunistic infection or dead end infection the correct answer is it is dead end infection like for example in rabies uh rabies case when the patient dies that patient is not able to spread that disease to some other persons because of the uh, dead end process right oh, this will end with that person only so it is dead end infection when the infectious disease patient is not able to transmit the disease next question is a reservoir can be whenever there is a question on reservoir we just now discussed about the reservoir it can be a uh, human also it can be animal also it can be an organism also so if you will see the option first is human second is animal third is living or inanimate substance and fourth is all of them so the correct answer is it is all of then it can be a uh, animal say for example the diseases like uh, rabies influenza yellow fever etc then it can be a non living thing also that is like soil or uh, some contaminated objects or laboratory materials etc so this disease disease agents such as microorganisms viruses bacteria rickettsia parasites the disease agents will grow in the reservoir which is the first host the next question is when the infectious agent remain in the body of the host without producing disease that means the infectious agent is there but that infectious agent has not shown any symptoms it is only present so whenever there is a such case that case is known as what whether it's a carrier state whether it's a intermediate state whether it is both of them or none of them the correct answer is it is carrier state now when you will talk about the carrier state it is like uh, due to some immune disorders okay or due to some low resistant low resistance issues or some improper treatment issues whenever uh, that uh, person will carry this disease that that state is known as carrier state a carrier will look like a healthy person and that person is capable of but that person is having the capacity to infect others next question is which of these is not a vector borne disease now in modes of transmission there are various modes of transmission like uh, there can be uh direct transmission there can be indirect transmission in case of direct transmission it can be direct as the word suggests direct through direct contact or transplacental transfer 
and in indirect case there can be a vehicle borne transmission or a vector borne transmission so as the word suggest vector borne that means there should be some vector generally it's an orthopod or a living animal which transfers the infectious agent to the second host which is a susceptible host and in case of vehicle borne whenever uh, we talk about the vehicle borne the vehicle is like uh, something medium like water okay which will act as a vehicle uh, for water borne disease and there can be other also like milk fruits vegetables blood and blood products etc so vector borne disease now we just now discussed vectors can be orthopods or living animals uh, like for example uh, in case of malaria there is mosquito okay when it is uh, like uh, filaria then plague in case of plague a uh, vector of plague like rat fleas okay so uh, various diseases are there so which of these disease is not a vector borne disease so the correct answer is it is diphtheria because diphtheria is the only thing which is not a vector borne malaria uh, just now we discussed that it is getting transmitted through a female anopheles mosquito filariasis and plague it is again a rat fleas so diphtheria is not a vector borne disease next question is which of these is a vehicle borne disease now vehicles we just now discussed now it is liquid thing like water milk fruit juices blood products blood etc so vehicle borne disease malaria no it is not filariasis it is also not plague it is also a vector borne disease then dysentery yes it can be a vehicle borne disease so the correct answer is it is dysentery because it is vehicle borne disease that means any medium liquid medium like water milk uh, juices blood products etc next question is which of these is a direct transmission method now there are two major methods direct transmission and indirect transmission indirect transmission is through some vehicle vector fomite etc and direct transmission is through either by direct contact or through a transplacental uh, transmission also so direct transmission method whether it is a vector borne transmission whether it is a borne transmission whether it is a transplacental transmission or fomite borne transmission so if you will see all these three vector vehicle direct transmission method where the disease is transferred from mother to the placenta next question is indirect so whether it is a vector borne whether it is vehicle borne whether it is fomite borne or all of them the correct answer is it is all of them indirect transmission involves a vector vehicle or fomite for the transmission of disease next question is the interval between first and subsequent case it is uh, whether it is a serial interval whether it's a generation time whether it's a incubation period or all of them the answer is it is serial interval when there is a interval between first occurrence of first case and the subsequent case it is interval is it is serial interval with this MCQs from epidemiology part five. We will continue with few more parts from the same chapter. Thank you.